Hey guys, welcome to Realistic Fishing. We're traveling the roads today, heading out of town because we're now allowed to travel and we're trying to fit in some trout fishing because the, so the season is just about to close. So well, I'm here with uh, my mate Jimmy and his son and yeah, we're gonna make our way up the mountains, into the hills and try and catch some rainbow trout. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yes. because these creeks are just looking too good. <laughs> so we just stumbled across this little creek here, just uh, not too far away from Ebor. And uh, it's looking pretty good, but um, I'm walking down the wrong way of the river, <laughs> of the creek. But this looks really nice up here. There's a big hole. I'm just wondering if there's any trout up here. Let's try. No fish. <laughs> Done. On the road again. <laughs> we just stopped. You alright? Yeah. Where's it? Uh, out this way. So we've. Uh, yeah, we camped overnight at a good friend of friend of ours, and uh, we are yeah this way, this way. Oh, better wait for the cars. We're now heading to uh, some creeks that we're going to try out, and uh, hopefully there's some fish there. It's nice and cold. Hopefully the fish are enjoying the cold as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we've arrived at the spot, we're going to be doing a bit of hiking and I'm here with an old friend, some of you may be familiar with him from some of my older videos, some of those uh, faithful uh, subscribers of mine who first joined the channel. Uh, yeah, we're back out here just outside of Inverell, outside of Gyra, doing a bit more trout fishing. Yeah. And uh, it's good to catch up with good old friends and uh, bringing some new friends along, Jimmy. I caught a pumpkin already. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's gonna, we're going to try and get some rainbow trout today. And we're going to try and get Jonathan, which is Jimmy's little uh, young son, he's only nine years old, onto his first trout today. So hopefully he can hook up. Let's get trout fishing. There's a big pool just down here. Feels a bit dead. Feels like the last time I was here. I, I'm, I'm wondering if the drought was just too bad, you know? Yeah. I just didn't survive the drought. I thought if there's anywhere they could survive, it would be in this big pool.
What is it? It's a seaweed lolly. What is it? Seaweed lolly from... Seaweed lolly? From Japan. Have a look. Alright, so it's made of seaweed. Yep. And this, this clear stuff is rice paper. Rice paper. Mm. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> We've arrived at another spot just here at Ebor and hopefully the fish are biting. Feeling quite defeated. Oh, nothing. What do you do, eh? What do you do? I guess you gotta take in the beautiful scenery and the fresh air and um, consider yourself lucky, I guess, to to have, you know, the freedoms we do in this country to even do this, so it's very easy for us to take things for granted. But just, you know, sitting by this creek and listening to the running water. There's, there's worse things in life, <laughs> I guess. But a fish would have been nice. <laughs> Oh no! I got that. I recorded that. <laughs> <laughs>